everyone, Leo here with another Azure Arc demo. And in this one, I will show you how to onboard multiple VMware Windows Server virtual machines as Azure Arc enabled servers using a jumpstart automation. In this demo, we'll be using a single Power CLI script to discover multiple VMware virtual machines and then install the Azure Arc connected machine agent as described in the jumpstart scenario you are seeing here. By the end of this demo, all the VMs will show up in the Azure portal as Azure Arc enabled servers. To start the demo, first, let's review our VMware vSphere environment. As you can see, I already have three powered on virtual machines, App1, App2, and SQL. And if I will open a console session to each one, I can validate that I don't have the Azure Arc connected machine agent installed in any of my machines. As I mentioned, this agent will be installed as part of our automation. I'll switch to Azure and we can see that I have an empty resource group that I will be using to onboard the servers. To deploy our Power CLI script, let's go ahead and open a PowerShell session in our terminal. In my environment, I already cloned the Azure Arc Jumpstart GitHub repository and navigated to our deployment directory where all the code base for this automated scenario is located. Before running the scale deploy script, you will need to add some environment variables, so let's review the var script. The scale deploy script will be leveraging on environment variables and inject these vars to each of the Windows Server virtual machines and use it for onboarding to Azure Arc using the connected machine agent. The first section is where you will add your Azure environment variables, such as the subscription ID, tenant ID, as well as the service principal app ID and secret. Notice the Azure resource group, which is the one we saw earlier in the Azure portal. The bottom section is where you will add your VMware environment variables. Make sure you're using a user account with enough permissions to query the vCenter inventory and the administrator account that has permissions to install the connected machine agent. Let's switch back to our terminal. Now that we have all our environment variables set up, we are ready to run the scale deploy script. As mentioned, the script will use these vars to onboard the VMware virtual machines as Azure Arc enabled servers. Depends on the number of servers you want to onboard to Azure Arc, the script will take a few minutes to complete, so we will come back once it's finished. As you can see, the run has been completed and everything seems to be in order. First, let's come back to our Windows Server virtual machines. We can see that we now have the Azure Arc connected machine agent installed on all three VMs. If I'll switch to my resource group in the Azure portal, we can also see that the VMs has successfully been added as Azure Arc enabled servers. In this demo, we targeted multiple VMware virtual machines and performed the scale onboarding to Azure Arc. I hope you enjoyed this demo, and if you want to get notified on future demos, please feel free to subscribe to the Azure Arc Jumpstart YouTube channel. Thank you.